Welcome. In this video, I'm going to be talking about ripping your CD collection to lossless audio using Windows 10. So I have this USB um, this DVD drive. I'll put a link in the description on Amazon to some of these. And um, I have this plugged into my Intel NUC computer. You could also use an internal CD drive. You could also hook multiple drives up to your computer um, if you have like a large collection to rip. So if I get over here to the computer, I'll go down to my search and I'll type in Windows Media Player and you'll see this app will come up and I'll click on it. And then I'll click on this Organize tag and I'll go down here to Options and I'll click up here on Rip Music and we want to change the format to one of the lossless options. So I'm going to use ALAC, which is Apple Lossless. You could also use FLAC. I've done tests and they take up about the same amount of space. So I just have already used um, Apple Lossless on other stuff that I've recorded. So when we choose that, and then I'll click Rip CD Automatically, and then Eject CD After Ripping. Then I'll hit Apply down here, and I'll hit OK. And now I'll get my first CD ready and stick it in the drive. Okay, so that rip is finished. It ejected the disc. And now I can stick the next disc in. It will automatically start and rip it and eject it when it's finished. Okay, so now the second CD finished. I'm not gonna do my whole collection for this video, obviously. So if we click on music here, we'll see the albums we downloaded. And I can close this. And if I go into my file explorer, and then my music directory, we'll see these two albums here that I ripped. So that's all for this video. In a future video, I'll talk about um, doing a batch process to convert your lossless files into AAC or MP3. So if you have any questions about this, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.